We got Frank Larson, 74. He was found unconscious in an abandoned warehouse. Brady Cardick at 45, BP's 90 over 60, respirations 10, and siding at 91%. Mr. Larson, do you know where you are? Mm. Let's move him on one, two, three. Dad, what happened? Is he is he all right? That's what we're trying to figure out. Frank, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Frank? He, he, he goes around feeding the stray cats, but he has dementia and he gets lost. Does he have any other medical conditions? No. You're the one examining him. What do you think it could be? It's hard to say right now. We need to let the doctor run some tests. It looks like he doesn't have any injuries, but yes, I would like to run some more tests to figure out what's going on. OK. Huh? OK. Dad, I'll be right here, OK? All right, big sister moment. Yep. Anyway, let's get an EKG, CBC, chem panel, troponins, tox screen, and a head CT. We'll figure this out. A drug overdose? Opioids. Your father's tox screen showed extremely high levels. Bolus him with two of Narcan and started drip. It can't be. My dad doesn't do drugs. He, he never has. He, he doesn't even drink. Hey, what about pain medication? He doesn't take anything. You need to run some more tests. Ma'am, Dr. Sexton has run all the appropriate. Is there anything around the house? Um, Vicodin, Tylenol with codeine? Uh, I, I cleaned all the medicine cabinets out. We don't have anything. Then he may have gotten it outside of the house. What? You think I'm letting him shoot up or something? No, I'm just saying Look, that. Your test is wrong. You, you need to redo it. These tests, they are usually pretty accurate. And I know my father. Look, if you need to consult with another doctor, then maybe... No. I'll redo the test. But in the meantime, I'm going to give him some medicine to reverse the opioids just so we can try and wake him up. OK. Thanks. Administer the Narcan. Larson, the retests once again show high levels of opioids. I'm sorry. Well, then why isn't he waking up? Should we be doing something else? Well, with overdoses that large, it can sometimes... Dr. Sexton. OK. Um, we need to step out. Let's clear the room. Wait, what's going on? Step out. That white powder on his jacket? I'm guessing that's fentanyl. What's that? A synthetic opiate. Now, he could have either inhaled it or even just touched it, but it's 100 times stronger than heroin. And that could explain why the Narcan's moving so slow. But how did he get it? They smuggled it in from China and cut it in abandoned buildings. All your dad had to do was brush up against some while he was feeding straight cats. We're notifying CPD, CFD, anyone who might have come in contact. No, um, you have to test it, but I think we have fentanyl. OK, I'll set up the decom protocol out in the ambulance bay, and I'll call Goodwin. Doors, door. We will get you back in the room, but please come. Excuse me, are you all right? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm fine. I'm Dr. Reese from psychiatry. Can I help? Uh, my dad ran into some trouble today. He has dementia. Oh, I'm sorry. I know that's really hard. <laughs> it's completely normal to feel overwhelmed. It's like he's a different person. And sometimes I wonder if maybe, if maybe it would be better if he, does that make me a horrible person? No. No, it doesn't make you horrible. Almost anyone in your position would have these thoughts. <laughs> lungs are full of fluid. He must have been coming to and inhaled against his glottis. Sat's down to 83. He lost his IV. 
to do something. Save him. Just so you understand, with the lack of oxygen, there's no guarantee that he won't have new physical or neurological deficits. Just save him, please. Do you understand what Dr. Sexton is saying? He's my father. Please don't let him die. They give 20 of Lasix, 20 of Atomidate, 50 of Sucks. Open an intubation kit and a central line kit now. Can you intubate? Yeah. Sucks at 65. He's in PEA. Bag him. Give me a milligram of epinephrine. I'll start CPR. Epinephrine's in. Still in PEA. Another milligram. Second milligram in. Come on. Dad. Still in PEA. Another milligram. Third milligram's in. No, no. I'm sorry. Daddy. Time of death, 17, 13. 